Before we start today's video, I just want to apologize for my lack of uploads. I'm not going to talk long. I'm literally just going to say sorry for not uploading. I've been super busy with work, doing long hours. I've been barely sleeping or eating or anything. So it's not just been YouTube I'm missing out on. So normally we upload here six days a week and I miss out Wednesdays. But today, obviously, it is Wednesday at the time of uploading this. So I'm going to make up for my lack of uploads by uploading on my day off. And also, thank you for all the new subscribers coming in recently. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe. We do a lot of videos like this and sometimes we switch things up just to keep things fancy, you know, just to keep things interesting. But make sure you leave a like if you're excited that I'm back and if you like these type of videos and comment down below. I love reading your guys' comments. I always reply to them while well, I try to anyway. So let's just get into today's video. Now, obviously you've seen the title of this video. I just need to make a clear distinction between these two meanings that people often get mixed up with. A video game remake and a video game remaster. A remaster is normally a touch up on old assets of a game. Like for example, Wind Waker HD. It's pretty much the same game, it's just been updated with HD graphics. They've added a few new features here and there. And that's pretty much it. That's that's pretty much all they've done. They just cleaned it up a little bit and poured it to a new system. That's normally what a remaster is. But a remake is a completely different story. A remake is a new game completely built from scratch. They add a lot more to it and they bring new life into the game. Just like how we've seen with the Crash Bandicoot trilogy, the Spyro trilogy, the Link's Awakening game that we got this year and Resident Evil 2. These games are amazing and they honestly breathe new life into the series. Which is something I think a lot of video game companies need to do. I'm looking at you Sega. Games like Crash and Spyro, we hadn't heard from them for years. People were worried we wouldn't hear from them again. They brought out these brand new remakes that introduced the game to a lot of new people and also brought back all the older people who used to play the games back in the day. Sometimes that's what series need, they just need rebooting. They had a long break, they need to come back with the originals to get people excited and then you drop a new game. So I'm going to list the top 5 platforming games that I think need remaking. Now, I'm only going to do platforming games because if I was to do all the other genres, man, this list would be absolutely impossible to do. But if you do like this video, make sure to drop a comment down below letting me know what genres you want me to cover next. And I'll do a top five list for those as well. And also, if you disagree with this list, that's fine. These are my personal opinions. You can leave a comment down below saying what games you would like to be remastered that are like platforming games, obviously. Coming in at number five, Conker's Bad Fur Day. Now I know this game has had a remake of some sort, a lot of people call it like a remaster but it is technically a remake but that was a very long time ago. I think this game does deserve to be sort of brought back to life a little bit, I mean I doubt we'll get a sequel but a remake again would be amazing just to sort of bring new people in and show how great this game would be and just imagine how amazing it would look with the 4k visuals. I mean what else can I say about this game? I mean it's got absolutely great humour, it's hilarious. And the gameplay itself has some amazing level designs, the different puzzles you do and everything are great. But you will hear me say this a lot in this video. The N64 era of games just didn't age very well. There are certain games that did age well like Paper Mario, but most of them like Conker's Bad Fur Day didn't age too well. And the remake did sort of fix a lot of things, but again, that remake was such a long time ago. I just think this re I just think a remake of this game is, is well deserved. I really do. I think this game would be really good on current systems. It would make a lot of sense. Hopefully we'll see it one day, but I doubt this one will happen, which is why I sort of put it at number five, because I do want a remake to happen again, but I doubt it will happen, unfortunately, for this one. But hey, maybe this isn't the last time we see Conker. Maybe we'll see him have another cameo in another game. Who knows? But I do miss the little guy. Number four, Jet Set Radio. My god, Jet Set is a game I have not heard of in forever. And I know people would prefer a sequel over a remake, and I'm in the same boat, don't get me wrong. But I feel if Sega wanted to introduce this classic series again, they would need to remake just to get people interested. I mean, if they were to do a sequel, it would take a lot more effort than doing a remake in my opinion. And they could sort of play it safe, drop a remake and see what people think. And let me tell you Sega, spoiler alert here, people would go crazy for a Jet Set Radio game. Absolutely crazy. We are seeing a lot of companies do this like what they did with Crash and Spyro. They remake the game, they see how people react, they build up hype again. And then they probably will drop a new game which I hope Crash is going to do. Most likely they're going to do. But Jet Set Radio, it's been way too long. 
I seriously miss this series and it's kind of sad Sega just dropped it. I mean, they have said recently they're going to start introducing classic series again and I'm hoping Jet Set Radio is one of these, but we'll just have to wait and see. Coming in at number 3, Rayman. Now, I'm not going to say a specific game when it comes to Rayman just because of how great all of the games are for this series. This is another game you just don't hear about much these days which is sad and I couldn't leave Rayman off the series. I know recently we've had Rayman Legends which was an absolutely amazing game which you seriously need to play if you haven't ever tried it out but I do miss the 3D games. It looks like Rayman 4 is never gonna happen but remaking the trilogy would be great. This would be perfect to get Rayman back in the limelight and I think the perfect one out of the three to remake would be Rayman 2, if I had to pick one. The first 3D game of the series, and a phenomenal game that was ahead of its time, which was unfortunately overshadowed by its competitors. In my opinion, it's sad because it did deserve so much praise, but hey, I don't know how they would go about remaking the trilogy, because obviously Rayman 1 was a 2D game, and Rayman 3 was remade quite recently, and it does look still good to this day, I mean it does hold up to this day. And Rayman 2 was slightly remade as well, but it just wasn't sort of as recent as Rayman 3. So hey, if you want to remake all three, hell yeah, I'm down for it. All three of those games are amazing, but if I was to have to pick one, it would be Rayman 2. Because Rayman 2 is such a good game, and Rayman 3 was also a good game, but was very recent. Yeah, I, ju I just hope for the day that Rayman gets like frequent releases again it seems like nowadays we're just going to get these 2d platformers which again are good but it's just it's a shame we'll never see rayman 4 it is honestly a shame coming in at number two banjo 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 with his recent addition into smash our favorite bear who likes smashing birds into the ground is finally getting some love again and honestly it made me so sad when everyone seemed to forget about this guy that's why i love smash bros because they like reintroduce people's love into different franchises again but anyway banjo kazooie one of my favorite platforming games of all time it hasn't aged the best again it's sort of falling into that n64 era the first 3d games that haven't aged the best nowadays which is understandable which is why i am dying for a remake of this game recently we got a leak from a retailer who listed banjo kazooie on their website my god if this really is true i will be so happy honestly this method that crash and spyro have done is absolutely genius absolutely genius you remake your old games you get people invested into the franchise again and then you start bringing out new games people will definitely be on board because you have new fans and old fans alike ready to purchase your games seriously banjo this would be your perfect time. I don't know why I'm speaking to Banjo like he's listening right now, like he's actually the one behind the games. I should be speaking to the developer. But honestly, a remake would be amazing for this. It would seriously sell now because people, people love, because people love Banjo anyway, but seeing as Smash Bros has sort of introduced a lot of new people to him, it would make sense to do a remake around this time. And I'm hoping this rumor is true, slash leak, slash rumor, slash leak. You have to be careful with your wording nowadays, but hopefully, we see Banjo again. I love this game. I love this series. The last one wasn't the best. Nuts and bolts. It, it was okay. It wasn't the best way to leave it off. So I'm hoping we see him again. I'm hoping we see him on the next generation of consoles. The PS5, the Xbox Series X and the Switch. God damn it would be amazing if we see Banjo again. Number 1. Sonic adventure my oh my what, what what do i what do i say about this game what do i say about this game it has to be number one on my list it has to be number one there have been so many leaks so many rumors surrounding this remake even sega themselves said they are interested if i remember correctly and while i am all for this remake happening i have slight fear that slight fear that sonic team could mess it up with their recent track history. The 4 obviously will be on my mind, but let's say the game is good, they remake the game, they make it look beautiful, they fix some of the bugs, improve Amy and Big the Cat's levels a little bit, give us some crazy remixes to the music, and leave the out of sync mouse the same, because honestly that's half of what Sonic Adventure is. And we have ourselves a solid game. Now I don't know if I want Sonic Team to remake this game or if I want a different company altogether to touch it. It's just hard to say nowadays man, it's really hard to say. But a Sonic Adventure remake would be perfect and it could eventually lead to a Sonic Adventure 2 remake and maybe a Sonic Adventure 3. And if they remade Sonic Adventure 1 and they see it 
fly off the shelves, they'll be like, hey, we need to remake Sonic Adventure 2. And that one flies off the shelves and they see how much people are invested in the Sonic Adventure series like they already know, but they will see it straight in front of them. They'll see the cash flowing. They'll go, hey, why don't we make a Sonic Adventure 3? Who knows what's going to happen? We've had that recent announcement about Sonic's year 2020. This is going to be his year, apparently. We're getting new announcements of the 20th every single month. Obviously, this month, the announcement was the announcement, but we might start seeing some huge ones coming in the next few months. I'm going to make a separate video on that, by the way, because this is really interesting and I like to speculate with stuff. Who knows what we're going to see from that, but maybe Sonic Adventure will be one of them. Maybe Sonic Adventure will come out this year, and then maybe next year we'll get the big new Sonic 3D game. And that could be Sonic Adventure 3. Who knows? But that's that's a separate that's a separate thing. They, we're not going to talk about that in this video. Anyways, that is my top five list of games that should be remade. Did you agree with my list? Did you disagree with my list? Let me know down below. Leave your top five games you think should be remade. And also, should I do another list? of top five games that should be remade for other gaming genres. Let me know all down below in the comments. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed my video. We upload six days a week here. The grind continues. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow.